Hello, hello, and welcome to a two network transfer update. It's official, Martin Dubravka has signed permanently for Newcastle United. It's absolutely fantastic news. He obviously joined on loan from Sparta Prague earlier in the season in the, in the January window. I know that Rafa had struggled to get a goalkeeper in in summer. He wanted Willie Caballero. That, we, 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 we hesitate on that deal, it didn't happen. Um, we alternated between Rob Elliott and Carl Darlow for a long time. And when Dubravka came, he was basically plucked from obscurity, uh, from, from, from the Czech leagues, from Sparta Prague. And everyone's just like, who, <laughs> who is this guy? And he's, he came in for a, maybe he's a million odd uh, loan fee. Um, <clears throat> nobody really knew anything about him. He was a Slovakian international, of course. And people might have seen him play for um, against Scotland, most recently Matt Ritchie, Scotland. Um, but apart from that, I would imagine most, um, apart from a few football hipsters, had never heard of him, didn't know anything about him. He basically came and he got thrown in at the deep end at home to Manchester United. And what an introduction to, <laughs> to, to Newcastle United that was right into the deep end and his performance that day was absolutely outstanding and as for the whole team and we all know what happened that day that 1-0 Matt Ritchie win but the, the defensive performance uh, was as good as, as as a few goals that day because there was there was blocks on the line there was shots stopping all over the place and, and, and notably I think early on uh, Dubravka saved a one-on-one -on -one, um, <clears throat> in the first half Possibly from Martial on his wrong foot, but I think that save gained gave him so much confidence. And I think from the resulting corner, he plucked it. For, you know, is is now trademark plucking the ball out of the air um, as if he's just got Velcro gloves. And that's, I think that 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 sort of couple of minutes um, in his Newcastle United debut really set the tone for. What he was going to bring to the team is his composure, his huge frame, um, and his ability, and, and it, well, his ability to just adapt so quickly to the English league from 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 being you know from being around sort of lesser European leagues for for pretty much all of his career to being thrown straight in against the second best team in in England, as it turned out, against Manchester United, who. Really threw the kitchen sink at us that day, if you remember. But the you know the crowd was so loud and raucous, and it was an amazing atmosphere. It's one of the best atmospheres I've ever experienced at St James's Park. It was so loud, and since then, Dubravka's just gone from strength to strength, and he's been part of this almost unchanged side um, since that Manchester United game that has really well, basically won us the points that that that, that not only meant survival for Newcastle under Rafa Benitez but actually obviously we finished in the top half um, and you know in those 12 games that, that Dubravka came and played in we conceded only 11 goals now if you extend that that ratio of goals per game conceded you're probably looking at only about 3 or 4 clubs in the Premier League that have managed to concede fewer than games that they've played. That, that, that's, how, that's how good, that's how important only conceding 11 in those final 12 has been. Um, obviously, it doesn't mean as much if you don't score at the other end and get the three points rather than the one. But, you know, in, in, in those 12 games, he kept four clean sheets, um, which is basically an amazing stat. That is more than Elliot and Dollar combined all season. Elliot got two, Dollar got one clean sheet, but Dubravka got four. So that's just how... So every three games, clean sheet. So for a, a side struggling in the relegation zone, that's, that's the difference maker. That's how important these kind of stats are, and that's impo how important it was that Dubravka just came in and... I think when he arrived, he, he sat out one game, possibly the Burnley game, and then he came straight in for the Man United game after that. So he's only here for kind of one game before Rafa was like, right, you're ready. 
And what's really impressed me, and, and where we, I think we fell short with Rob Elliott and Carl Darlow, is that <clears throat> I just found them too nice. I found that, <laughs> I'm not saying Dubravka's not nice, but hear me out. I found that their command of the area wasn't there. And that just looking at like Darlow's frame, I feel like he could get easily nudged out of the way. I feel that there's a mistake in Darlow, which we've seen a couple of times this season. We saw a few times last season. Rob Elliott had his injury problems, but to be honest, that wasn't the issue here. I think Rob Elliott struggles with the command of his area as well. And, um, you know, they can be both really, really good on that day in terms of shot stopping and... But the main concern, I think, and, and certainly for Rafa, was the communication at the back. When Lascelles wasn't there, we struggled big time. And I think a large p p proportion of that was because we didn't have the chat at the back, the organisation, who's balling the instructions. You know, Lejeune's just new to the country. Kieran Clark sort of has you know he has been captain before um villa but does he feel like he has the authority is, is anybody we need those personalities what do bravka brings is he able to galvanize that back that back four and certainly it's no coincidence that both he and lejeune came in from that man united game and in terms of that sort of back three of dubravka lascelles and Lejeune, we never looked back. Solid as a rock. And Dubravka played a huge role in that because he's barking the instructions, he's got the vision, he understands tactically, tactically pardon me, what the defence needs to be doing. And he's balling instructions and he's taking the burden away from Lascelles just because, again, Lascelles is still learning his craft. Lascelles is young. Dubravka has that experience. He's been around the block. He's played international football, which a lot of our players haven't done. So he's he's seen it all before. I think he's about 29. And <clears throat> it's just this composure he brings and this confidence that he instilled. Not only but the confidence that he had himself of his own ability just to slot in. But he, I think he became reliable very, very quickly, allowing the defence and everybody to stop kind of looking over their shoulder to worry what's going to happen next. And he was just a cliched safe pair of her hands. The way he can just rise, if it crosses anywhere near to him, he will rise, he will pluck it out the air, stop it dead, and that's it. And it's, it's Newcastle in possession, and we can start an attack. That's basically how it's gone. And, you know, you, 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 look, at his, you look at his interview... Um, on the pitch um, after the last game of the season against Chelsea and um, you know he, he the fans were singing his name he was responding graciously he was he was humbled but he, he, he was smiling he was happy to be and he's always just had this very positive attitude since he arrived and the effect that he must have had on the dressing room again just the fact that he settled that defence, that us having a strong defence suddenly was a thing, you know? And it, it was just fantastic, absolutely fantastic. And uh, the fact that we've signed him, again, from obscurity, from relative obscurity. Yes, he's an international goalkeeper, but really not on the radar of most. Nobody else took a chance. We've bought him permanently for four million pounds. That's that's free. That's essentially a free transfer in this day and age. That doesn't happen. That's an amazing piece of business. Unbelievable scouting. This and and to be honest, there's no reason why he couldn't have beat just been another Matt Sells. You know, both scouted by Rafa and his networks, both international goalkeepers in their own right. Sells arguably played in a better league, but. But, you know, for, fortunately for us, Dubravka's the real deal. And he's proved that in the Premier League and we can rely on him and we can build from it. And the fact that, you know, as a goalkeeper, he's 29, he has years ahead of him yet. The fact that he was so eager to stay on Tyneside and his, his tweet that's gone out tonight 
um, just reaffirms you know, just how excited he is to be staying. We all wanted him to stay, he wanted to stay. You worry about the, about the hierarchy, you know, fudging up such a seemingly straightforward deal, a no-brainer of a deal. But it's basically, um, you know, still May as it, as it stands. It's very similar to the Christian Atsu signing last summer where we had an option to buy and there's probably a, there'll be a deadline on that option to buy and we've had to exercise that before, probably before June, um, that we want to buy him. But for, as I said, £4 million, pounds is, is, it's an absolute no-brainer. He's a fantastic addition to the squad. Not only an addition to the squad, he, he is our number one going forward now. He is the benchmark. Um, I fully expect us to probably um, allow Carl Dolo to move on. He'll probably go to a championship side. And, you know, I'd like to see Freddie Woodman pushing Elliot for, for that, um, for that, you know, that, that reserve goalkeeper uh, spot on the bench because... If, if if Woodman isn't going to go out on loan, then we need him around the first team. We need him learning from people like Dubravka. Um, and I'd like to see Woodman get a, a, a couple of a couple of runs out this uh, next season because he can be the future if he wants to be. We've let players like Fraser Forster leave for pittance and gone on to you know great things. He, fair enough, his forms fell off the last few seasons, but he's done... He's done pretty well since since he left Newcastle all in. So Martin Dubravka, our first official transfer of the uh, of the summer. It's happening now. Let's hope Rafa gets a lot more money. I can imagine he's got a few names lined up. We need to act fast before the World Cup. I'll be doing a few more videos um, when we you know we get some permanent transfers in. I still owe you a season review video. That is coming. It is happening. Um, been very, very busy. So apologies for that. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so um, underneath this. Um, or if you're on iTunes or SoundCloud, please subscribe as well and tell your friends. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook. I've been Adam. Martin Dubravka signs for the tune. Fantastic news. See you later. Bye-zy-bye. <laughs>